Hello, my name is Stefan. And my name is Matthias. Today, we want to show you how reliable the Vega Flex Series 80, our guided radar, works even in the most difficult installation or signal conditions. For this purpose, we have installed two Vega Flex 81 in this vessel. One with a rod probe and one with a coaxial probe. If you have a look at the echo curves, you will see that both devices detect the level reliable and accurate. But there is a big difference in the echo amplitude of the two instruments. The coaxial version has a much bigger echo amplitude than the rod probe. This is called the coaxial effect. The result is that you get a higher measurement certainty especially for media um, with poor reflection properties, like, for example, liquefied gases. The same positive coaxial effect can be achieved for rod and cable probes, but only when they are installed in bypass tubes or standpipes with a diameter smaller than DN80. The radar impulse will be guided along a rod or cable probe in a radius of 30 to 50 centimeters around the probe. Every influence which is outside of this radius have no influences on the measurement. Therefore, nearly all applications can be solved even in difficult installation conditions. Let's have a look now at an extreme case where installations like heating coils or ladders are placed too close to the probe. We will simulate this now by inserting this metal bar into our tank and see if it has an effect on our measurement. We can see already for the rod probe this has an influence on the measurement, so this is really too close to the probe. And let's see how this affects the coaxial probe. And we can see here there is no influence at all for the coaxial probe and the reason is that the whole measurement is done inside the tube so that installations left or right of the probe have no influence at all. No matter if tank installations or medias which are difficult to measure. Vegaflex Series 80 guided radar offers the right solution for every application.